he is most merciful and beneficent. Uh, first of all, I would like to pay thanks to my respected son who gave me a chance to express our view in front of you guys. Uh, after that, our presentation topic is effect of the vertical load in HYD ratio in a single pile capacity uh, installed in a pile rock foundation. So, our supervisor is the, uh, Dr. Fanjali Issa. Uh, our supervisor is Dr. Fanjali Issa. Our member, uh, Akramullah Khan, Muhammad Zahir Khan is standing in front of you guys. Kashif Khan, Wasif Khan. So, coming to the introduction to our in the uh, current era, the concept of tall building increase day by day in, uh, in throughout Pakistan is like this. These buildings uh, require a strong and economical uh, foundation. So, in the recent construction, the Pile uh, uh, Foundation has became the most common uh, foundation type for a high rise building, towers, up to, uh, and upward um, structures. There are many buildings uh, uh, which have piled up foundation showing in, show in the next slide. So this is the uh, Eclipse Mars, Eclip Mars uh, the, which is in the shower, 35 story buildings. The next one is uh, the Brooklyn Liner, New Kiar, and the uh, building in Afghanistan uh, Fort, and the famous building, Burj Khalifa, uh, situated in Dubai. So, here we uh, basically three type of foundation we discuss rough foundation, pile foundation, and pile rough foundation. Rough foundation is uh, a type of the shallow foundation and it is consists of the reinforced concrete slab. The pile foundation, pile foundation are type of the deep foundations and uh, we are uh, it is a combination of a series of economies uh, which we through which we can uh, transmit the superstructure load to a substructure uh, means hard strata of the soil. So pile rough foundation, pile rough foundation is uh, the combination of the piles and uh, rough rock. Firstly, piles are constructed. After that, the rough is uh, uh, placed throughout the uh, whole piles. The rough is attached to the group of the piles, and the structure load is conveyed through the pile uh, combination, combined action of the piles and the rough. Due to these combined action, the pile uh, rough show a complex mechanism. So this is the um, diagrammatically you can see the uh, rough foundation, pile foundation, and the pile uh, rough foundation. But the literature review, I will uh, uh, invite to Mr. Kashafan to continue the house presentation. Thank you, sir. I suggest you shift. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I hope you all will do well. My name is Muhammad Kashif Khan. And after the introduction presented by Muhammad Zahid, uh, next is the literature review. As we know, as we know that the uh, buildings are getting taller day by day and uh, the uh, use of uh, rough foundation is also increasing day by day. Now, uh, here, how we can uh, go through economical construction of the fire rough foundation by considering the contribution of the raft to the overall foundation. If we uh, consider the raft uh, contribution in the overall foundation, then the number of piles uh, can be uh, significantly reduced. Next, uh, the two researchers have also researched that in the raft foundation, the pressure from the raft on the soil can also increase the electrical stress between the main pile and the soil can and the dust increase the linear pressure density. As we know that the raft is the raft is placed on the side due to this the vertical pressure on the pile increases and due to this increase in the load the skin friction increases and we can go to the terms of construction. But according to ash to ash to table the single pile capacity decreases when installed in pile raft when installed in pile raft foundation. This is our problem statement uh, that uh, how can we increase the uh, capacity of single pile when installed in pile of foundation. Uh, by considering this increase in the capacity, the design can be made more economic. Uh, for the objectives, I invite uh, Mr. Mohamed Akram from NC. <coughs> Thank you. 
Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Akramullah Khan and uh, I will be presenting objectives and methodology. So, uh, from the previous discussion, uh, it can be concluded that single pile capacity increases uh, from the literature review. Uh, it can be concluded that single pile capacity increases. So, how much this increase occurs, we have to find this uh, numerically. And also to find the effect of vertical load and S by D ratio, which is spacing uh, on the capacity of single pile installed in a pile gram. Next. For this, uh, to obtain, to achieve these objectives, uh, we have adopted a methodology to use a finite element analysis for a gram, which is called Plexis 3D, uh, which will be used to simulate a pile draft in a sandy soil. So, uh, how to simulate these materials in the software? Uh, a brief introduction of different material models uh, which are available in the software is as below. Uh, first uh, uh, model is linear elastic model which is based on Hooke's law and it involves two basic parameters. One is elastic models and the second is Poisson ratio. Next. The second one is the Mohr column model which is a simpler uh, non-linear model which is based on the soil parameters which are uh, normally uh, known in the practical situation. It is based on linear, elastic, perfectly plastic model and involves five input parameters. One is elastic model was Poisson ratio, friction angle, cohesion and dilatancy angle. The third one is the hardening soil model which is an advanced non-linear model which is used for the simulation of soil behavior. It is based on hyperbolic stress strain relationships and the stiffness in the hardening soil model is described more accurately by using three additional stiffness parameters which are triaxial loading stiffness, triaxial unloading stiffness and odometer loading stiffness. So in our case, uh, we have modeled the sand as hardening soil and uh, for the pile and draft we have used linear elastic model. Next, these are the models which will be tested a single pile model with a length of 18 inch and 0.75 inch diameter and a raft will be modeled as a 12 by 12 inch uh, square with thickness of 1 inch. Next, this is another model which will be tested. Uh, it is a raft with 4 piles with center to center distance of 10 inch and from end to center distance of 1 inch. This is a model of raft with uh, 9 piles which will be tested. Next. This is the uh, test summary uh, which will, uh, the, the above three models will be tested by varying load from 100 to 700 with the increment of 100 kg. For the progress, I will invite Mr. Wasif Ali to further proceed the presentation. Thank you. My name is Wasif Ali and I will I will discuss progress of our project. So in the progress, I will be discussing what we have completed up till now. We have learned a uh, software named Plexis 3D. By following this uh, training manual and also performing the case studies which are given in the training manual. In the progress of uh, uh, we, we have learned Plexis 3D by following these steps out to create a new project in which units and dimensions are specified. And since next one, define the soil stratigraphy and the soil model. Create and assign material data sets on define the structure of elements and structural mood of it generate the mesh and mesh mood, define and perform the calculation and stage construction mood, view the calculation results. On the basis of these steps, so we have performed a case study provided by our course supervisor. So this is the case study which we performed uh, for uh, we have used Mohawk column material uh, model for to merge the soil. And you, we have used linear elastic material model to model the pile and rock. So this uh, this is the model of uh, a rock with single piles which we have performed in Plexus 3D, which is a part of our project. So in future work, we uh, the uh, test which are uh, described previously will be performed and data will be obtained. And different drops and costs for piles will be analyzed and they will be compared. Thank you, sir.